Keyboard shortcuts are the favorite tool of experienced users. They allow you to save a lot of time, especially when the number of operations to be carried out on a specific slide is substantial. The universal Windows shortcuts can be applied in PowerPoint as well. For example, if you would like to copy an item, you can use Ctrl and C, while you can paste it with Ctrl and V. The shortcut for cutting an item is Ctrl and X. After we've cut an item, we can use Ctrl and V and paste it into its new position. We can use these commands for text as well. Please take some time going through the document that comes after this lesson. It is a list of some of the most popular keyboard shortcuts that are used in PowerPoint. We can easily find many keyboard shortcuts by using the Alt key. By pressing Alt without holding, we can activate the tabs for the PowerPoint ribbon. Then we can click the letter corresponding to the tab that we want to open. For example, I'll click N and the Insert tab would open. Here it is. Within the tab, we continue to see the letters for each of the buttons. If we want to insert a picture, we can just press P and this brings up the Insert Picture dialog box. So in general, we can say that most commands involving Alt are shortcuts to the commands in the main tabs of the PowerPoint ribbon. There is one slight complication though. Compared to Excel, PowerPoint needs more steps in order to perform a given action. Most of the time, you need to work with four or five letter combinations in order to carry out the operation that you require. Therefore, you need to practice the combinations a lot in order to memorize these longer shortcuts. In the list with shortcuts that is provided after this lesson, you will find a number of shortcuts, which start with the control key and are much simpler to memorize. Later in this course, we will show a good alternative which is often preferred by some PowerPoint users. This will do it for now. Thank you for watching.